Husqvarna's new range of floor grinders open up possibilities for DIYers to prepare concrete floors. The machines are very easy to use and fit in a standard car. In this video, we'll show you what you can do to accomplish Husqvarna Hyperfloor commercial finish in small and confined spaces like a garage. We've chosen to work with the PG450, which is a planetary grinder, and the PG280, suited for edge grinding. In order to achieve a genuine Husqvarna Hyperfloor, you need more than just the machines. You also need Husqvarna products like diamond tools and concrete chemicals such as GM3000, Hyperhard and Hyperguard. For more detailed information about the machines and Hyperfloor, please refer to the instructions that you can find online on the Husqvarna construction web www.husqvarnacp.com or contact your local Husqvarna Construction Products office. We recommend that you always use a Husqvarna dust collector when using a Husqvarna grinder. The machines can do all types of application, including coating removal such as epoxy, paint and adhesives even though they are a single phase machine. Using metal bond diamond tools, grind or decontaminate the surface using either 60 grit or 120 grit diamonds. On a heavily used or dirty concrete floor, 60 grit diamonds may be required first to decontaminate and level out large differences in the surface. If this is the case, the requirements for floor flatness and final appearance need to be taken into account as this step will affect the aggregate exposure. Overlap 5 to 10 centimeters every cut through all the different steps. Start with a PG450 and follow the same steps with a PG280 edge. For optimal results, alternate between the PG450 and edge grinding with a PG280 through every step. Gradually you can walk faster with the machine as you progress through the process. Combine the grinding process with GM3000 filling compound as follows. First, wet the concrete with water. Second, apply GM3000 to the floor using a broom. Approximate usage should be 5 liters per 25 meters squared, depending on the porosity of the floor. Begin with 5 to 10 square meters only in front of the grinder to prevent the GM3000 from drying out. Third, while still wet, run the machine with 120 grit diamonds through the wet GM3000. The GM3000 will combine with the dust created by the 120 grit diamonds and it will be forced into holes created by air bubbles and extracted aggregate. Finally, the floor should appear slightly blue after completing an area. When using GM3000, work in areas of 2 to 3 meters squared until a feel for the process has been established. Apply Hyperhard liberally so that the concrete is saturated 
but without forming puddles. Once the hyperhard has dried, a second coat may be required if the concrete is very soft and still absorbent. Again, spread out any puddling using a soft broom. When applying one coat to hard concrete, or two coats to porous concrete, the floor should always appear damp or wet for 15 to 20 minutes after the application of hyperhard. If this is not the case, another coat is required. Allow hyperhard to dry completely before moving on to the next step. A period of 6 to 12 hours is recommended as a minimum to obtain the maximum effect of the hyperhard chemical process. The crossover from metal bond to resin bond is the most important stage of the polishing process as far as scratch removal is concerned. The longer the metal bond diamonds are used, the more chance scratches will be made in the floor in the metal bond step. Resin bond diamond pads generally have significantly higher production rates than metal bond tools. The sooner you begin with resin bond diamonds, the more efficient the production rate. Don't forget to overlap each time to get the best result on the floor. As you continue the process with 50, 100, 200, 400 and 800 resin tools, you gradually see an increase of gloss. Depending on the end result you want, you can choose to stop the process before you've come to the 800 step. It's entirely up to you and your preferences. Apply two to three coats of HyperGuard Premium Enhanced Penetrating Sealer using a microfiber floor mop, allowing time to dry between coats. The floor should be fully saturated, but without any excess, to ensure all pores are filled. The use of HyperGuard is highly recommended to prevent contaminants from staining the floor. Leave to cure fully for at least one hour, or until touch dry, and then buff off residual HyperGuard sealer with nylon buffing pads. If you're unsure about anything you've seen or heard in this video about using Husqvarna's surface preparation equipment or the hyperfloor process, please refer to the instructions that can be found online on the Husqvarna construction web under surface preparation, or contact your local Husqvarna office for assistance. Husqvarna's complete floor grinding offering can give you a floor that is functional, hard wearing, easy to clean and low maintenance while remaining aesthetically pleasing.